they're the ones writing the questions. They're also the ones answering the questions. This is an idiotic answer. Hey, what's going on? My name's Al, and as I'm sure you're aware, there is a uh, FAQ out there done by Maxon, just answering lots of questions. I'm gonna give you my thoughts. I really, really wanted this when it says what happened. I, I really expected more of a story. Like, it was a brisk autumn day. Maxon came to ZBrush, finally said, okay. You know, just like a little bit more of a backstory. What happened? Let's see here. ZBrush and the team behind it have joined Maxon. Business details. Maxon acquired the assets of Pixelogic, including all brands and software source code. This was not helpful. <laughs> we already know that. I wish there was a little deeper than that. So why did Maxon and the ZBrush team decide to join forces? Well, they didn't join forces. That's not true. Uh, but this says it's the perfect strategic addition. Both companies share a great tradition of outstanding products, innovation, and passion to serve the creative community. Both teams strive to develop tools that inspire designers to be creative. Although 3D can be a complex design medium, ZBrush and Cinema 4D have both been hailed for their creative playground feel that gives artists the ability to explore and focus their creativity rather than the tools. Will Pixelogic employees be joining Maxon? This is informative. This is good. So as of December 29th, 2021, the entire ZBrush team has joined the Maxon team. This includes not just the development team, which remains under the leadership of, I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that name, but also the support, sales, marketing, and management teams. I do think that's really cool. They didn't just buy the tool, you know, and ditch all the employees. They bought everything, which I do think that's good. So for all you naysayers out there, and I'm one of them, at least the, the core people who worked on ZBrush are still there. We miss you, Joseph Drust. We miss you. So will Pixelogic's office continue to operate as usual? Yes, Pixelogic's office will continue to operate as usual. Maxon will be assuming the lease to Pixelogic's Hollywood office and is thrilled to establish a presence in the heart of Hollywood. So they will be paying the lease because they're the parent company. That all makes sense. I'm glad that these uh, employees don't have to move, presumably, which is awesome for them. Uh, will Maxon me maintain its other offices? I don't know if anybody's asking that. I, just, I don't know why they're telling me this, but okay. How does this benefit ZBrush users? This new alliance will bring the best of both worlds together with complete respect for everything that the ZBrush artistic community already loves about the application. Axon's greater development, marketing, and support resources will benefit ZBrush artists across the board. Access to Maxon's programming expertise, other technologies, and potential integrations will also bring innovation and expanded capabilities to ZBrush. No interruptions are expected for the ongoing development of your favorite 3D sculpting software. I know it sounds like a whole lot of BS, but that is good that they say there's not going to be interruptions on the development. It's not like they're going to take us, you know, a six month hiatus. They say they're hitting the ground run and getting to work. Sales. So the immediate effect. ZBrush pricing remains unchanged. Customers can continue to purchase ZBrush through their usual sales channels, including ZBrush online store. If you want to go out, buy ZBrush today, you can. It's the same price as it was. Will ZBrush continue to be sold as a standalone product? This is a big one. We knew this from the EULA. Yes, ZBrush will continue to be sold as a standalone product. They're not going to just absorb it into Cinema 4D. Based on this blurb, it says this is standalone product, which is a good thing. I think that's how it should be. Will I be able to continue using my ZBrush perpetual license? This was a big one that they could have came out and said. They could have came out and said this right away. There were so many things they could have done differently. So absolutely, ZBrush perpetual licenses never expire, and ZBrush perpetual customers who purchase between December 30th, 2020, and December 29th, 2021, are entitled to free updates for one year from their purchase date. If you bought in between these dates before, you know, just a few weeks ago, December 29th, 2021, or the year before, you get a free update if there is one. Can I still buy a perpetual license? ZBrush Perpetual License will continue to be available via the Pixelogic site, but no free upgrades will be included for customers who purchase after December 29th, 2021. So if you bought it January 1st, you will not get free updates. Uh, we knew that was coming. This should not be a shock to anybody. There's still many people out there shocked that there's not going to be free upgrades. That was like assumed right from the get-go. That would be out the window. That's, there's no surprise there. Will there still be free upgrades for ZBrush Perpetual License holders? Moving forward, Perpetual Licenses will only receive bug fixes, but no additional, uh, but not additional features or functionality for free. Subscribers will receive all feature updates and other fixes as long as their subscription is active. It's kind of like wanting you to do that subscription model, whatever, however much a month it is. That way you are always up to date on your software and you pay monthly or yearly. But this is the kicker. To provide the best customer experience and performance, we truly believe all customers should be running the latest version. Ah, that is not encouraging. They say, yes, my perpetual license will last forever, but then this blurb. So Maxon believes that I should upgrade 
or hop on the subscription model of ZBrush and I should upgrade every single time and pay that fee, whatever it is. We don't know what the upgrade fee is or like a perpetual license. They're telling me that's what I should do. I don't like that at all. I will not be running the latest version. The cutting edge technology and performance require agile. Uh, development and delivery, all Maxon products, including ZBrush, are fully dependent upon third-party hardware, operating systems, and software solutions in order to maintain compatibility with the latest hardware, drivers, host application updates. Our development teams are constantly updating, optimizing, ins ensuring stability. How much will perpetual upgrades cost? Will it be possible to convert from a perpetual license to a subscription? More details will come at a later date. However, providing value is and has been primary philosophy of both Maxon and ZBrush that will continue as we move into the future. Yeah, they're just not going to tell us right now. They know how much it'll cost. Guarantee it. They know how much it'll cost. They just don't want to tell us. And that's fine. That's their choice. Their business, whatever. But they know. What will a ZBrush subscription cost? Until further notice, ZBrush subscriptions will continue to be offered at $479.40 per year or $40 a month. So that's not changing currently. If I were a bet man, I'd say yes, that will change. I have ZBrush and other Maxon products. Do I need to maintain a subscription to both? Yes, it is necessary to maintain both subscriptions. So if you have Cinema 4D, you don't automatically get ZBrush. You need to go get a ZBrush a subscription currently. What if I need to buy ZBrush in the next few months? ZBrush sales will continue from the ZBrush website. Everything's good. All third party sales are still good. What will happen with ZBrush Core and ZBrush Core Mini? Both products are still available. That did not answer the question. They didn't even answer their own question. What will happen with ZBrush Core and ZBrush Core Mini? Both products are still available. That's a stupid, <laughs> stupid answer to this question. I think that ZBrush Core is going to be gone. In the EULA, there is zero mention of ZBrush Core. It differentiates between ZBrush and ZBrush Core Mini. Those are both separately in different places in the EULA. As far as I'm aware, if memory serves me well, ZBrush Core is not mentioned at all. <clears throat> so my guess is it's going to be gone. But that's just speculation. So did ZBrush Core and ZBrush Core Mini join Maxon as well? Yes, thank you for that well thought out answer. You're doing great. If you're still with me, you're doing great. So will ZBrush development continue uninterrupted? Absolutely. Maxon is fully committed to continuing development on ZBrush under the continuing leadership with the goal of making the best sculpting tool even better. That's a great goal. I think, I think they can. Uh, will ZBrush be integrated into Cinema 4D? ZBrush will absolutely remain a separate product. With that in mind, this alliance will inspire technological exchanges to benefit all Maxon products, as well as the innovation of new products and workflows to benefit the artistic community. Okay, so they'll take bits and pieces from ZBrush, slap it in Cinema 4D, make Cinema 4D and Redshift work with ZBrush. What is the future of integration with Keyshot? Uh, Keyshot is a valued ZBrush partner, and the current integration will continue for the immediate future. I wish they would stop beating around the bush. Like, seriously, answer the darn question. Yeah, it's going to continue for what, the next month, next six months, next year? This does not, Keyshot is not staying. The ZBrush to Keyshot, I will be gone. Yeah, that's done. That's another whole can of worms there. Uh, how will this affect Forger development plans? There's a growing interest in mobile-based creative workflows. We expect great things from the collaboration between this incredibly talented teams at Maxon and ZBrush. We look forward to revealing more plans in the future. So they will definitely be doing some, you know, mobile or tablet, uh, making Forger better or making or whatever, sculpting on iPad probably with ZBrush or something similar, which is a good thing that anybody who says that's a bad thing they're idiots what's going to happen with zbrush live this is one of those like this doesn't this does not answer the question zbrush live is awesome all maxon tools including zbrush are great for quick creativity like you see on zbrush live this is an idiotic answer they're the ones writing the questions they're also the ones answering the questions i don't know if somebody at maxon just like copy and pasted some bull crap here like this is so silly i don't care what happens to ZBrush Live. I think it's been great. It's been great. All the streamers, all this other stuff, but this does not answer the question. Honestly, I think there's a, a lot of good information here. There's a lot of things that are kind of cleared up, a lot of, a lot of good information on this, but there's also a lot of stupid answers to the questions. And I, I don't quite understand why. It's not that hard to answer a question. You wrote the question, you should give us an answer and stop beating around the bush. It's here. I'm glad more information is here. There's still a whopping amount of information that is lacking from this uh, FAQ. I'm glad that they are starting to talk a little bit more. 